Hey everybody, this is Brian, and in this video, we're going to talk about verticals or credit spreads with Magic 8-Ball. So first off, if you don't know what Magic 8-Ball is, the link is down below. It is a stock market prediction engine that I've designed. Just join up and I'll see you in there. So what are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about credit spreads, or specifically verticals. It's a light switch, basically. It is either in profit or out of profit based off a break-even point. And you can construct these so you can go, the market's going up, the market's going down, depending on which direction you think the market's going to go. They're fairly versatile, meaning you can also really, really design these however you want. So you have less loss and more profit. Let's dive in and take a look. All right, why would you use a vertical credit spread? Well, the answer is really directional bias. You can use it when it's going up, when it's going down. You don't care what the market's doing, you can profit either way. You just have to pick the right direction. So for example, if we look at Thinkorswim and we look at our chart, look at this. I mean, you could have made money, you could have made money. It doesn't matter which direction it's going as long as you're picking the right direction. That's the critical part is picking the right direction. But this is really the most versatile and most universally used trade is the credit spread, the vertical. Now it comes in two flavors, the put credit spread, meaning you think the market's going up, which sounds misleading because I said put, so you're selling this is what I'm saying. You're going to sell a put credit spread so you think the market's going up, or you sell a call credit spread, meaning you think the market's going down. There's other people out on the internet that can explain this way better than me, but what we're talking about is how to use this with Magic 8-Ball. All right, so when do we want to use this? Well, honestly, anytime. This is beautiful, and this is why people use this so much, because it doesn't matter what the market's doing. You can make money off this thing. Even if the market goes perfectly sideways, you can still make money using this. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at one. We're going to go into Magic 8-Ball. We're going to go down to SPX, go down to our newest prediction, and you can see here's a chart here. This thing is probably the perfect time to go in. Chart just updated. The magenta line is the price. The blue line is the prediction. So we are actually below the predicted. And if we look, we are actually $12 below the predicted. So we have the current price, predicted close. Short term is what we want to look at for verticals and the long term is where the market's going to go. So there is a difference there. $10 difference between the short term and the long term. If we look at that here, this green dotted line, that is a short term. So we're expecting the market to snap right up. So let's go ahead and look at our vertical here. Vertical is a credit spread with directional bias. We're just going to copy this. First thing you want to do is make sure you're in the right direction. Put. Remember, we're selling, so it's the opposite. So put means we're going up and we can correlate that with this chart. We want it to go up. Let's go into our trade. Let's delete this. And let's pop this in. We're gonna paste it. Unlock it to get the current price. It is 1.45. And instead of confirm and send, never do that. Always analyze it to make sure it's what you want. Sure enough, we believe this is going to go up. So what we would do at this point is we would just confirm and send. Now. I want to really caution you on this. Pay close attention to the next few sections where I talk about when to take profit and when to close. It is absolutely critical. And I am not an expert. I want to point out who the experts are. X Options, Ariane, I see them in this group all day long. It's like my second home and they are making real money using what we just talked about. And Trading Made Simple with Sandra or Options Sandra. She does this in her group. She explains it very well. Honestly, you can't go wrong with either group. I just tend to hang out and ask more because that's where our, my peeps are. But anyways, verticals, these things are so versatile, but you have to be very cautious when you use them. Let's take a look at why we need to be cautious. All right, verticals, let's talk about why we need to be cautious and when to take profit. Now, a lot of people are thinking that if you enter this trade, you should just write it to end of day. And that used to be true up until when the market got super crazy um, in the Axe option group. I know I shout out to them quite a bit, but I love those guys. Uh, they actually told me that previously you would just enter one of these in the morning and just write it to expiration and make full profit. The market's not like that anymore. The market's crazy. And you can see just talking to you, this little line here, that's the price. It's moving down. So if I flip over to the chart, yep, <laughs> look at that. Absolutely ugly. 
So you need to be very careful, not just in terms of when to take profit, but when you enter. Now seems like it would be almost a good time because we see it starting to pull back up. That's something I would consider is we would automatically be $71 in the hole upon entering this trade, but we have the ability for it to go up. So I would probably adjust these strikes out further. That way I make more money. The problem is the further away from at the money, the less profit and more risk. So you have to be a little bit careful. Back to our main subject though, when do you take profit? See this magenta curve? I would not ride this to full profit unless you're extremely lucky. I would ride it to about here, about 50% profit. So if we're at 135 for full, I would do about 165, about 50%, maybe even 30% and just take your money and run. So you may be going, now that's horrible. I want all this money. You have to understand these verticals can go very, very quickly. I've seen these things go as fast as two minutes. Actually, I think she's going to kill me for doing this, but I think Sophia Yam, where are you? I'm pretty sure she, yeah. Four minute trade with Magic 8 Ball. She did a trade, made money within four minutes. I mean, ridiculously fast. And there's a picture of the pistachios I was eating for a snack, just as an added bonus. But point being, she didn't hold that to a full profit. She waited, see how the price is jumping back up? She waited till it hit, and then she collected profit and ran. So, word of caution if you're gonna get into these, be ready and take the profit when you can. Now let's talk about everybody's favorite topic, when to close. And what we're talking about is things just don't go your way. This is a tough subject. Um, this vertical that we've been inspecting, I'm confident that would go up, but let's just say it didn't, it went down. You have a choice. You can either, you know, there's two thought processes here. You can either take the max loss, which I'm looking at this little box here is negative 365, or you look at this magenta line and you can see you would lose a certain amount depending on where it was. So what I typically do is if it goes against me, I don't waste my time or money. If it's going to about here, I would say, okay, it's at negative 141. I'm just gonna cut my losses and call it a day. The market just was not my friend. Now, if you're very, very confident, let me get rid of that and show you what I'm actually in here. This is a trade I was doing this morning to test and you can see I just wanted to ride it and see what happened. And it's currently at positive 163. So this was a unique situation, and this is why I point this out. There's times where the market's doing this kind of crap, and the market was going up here, and I entered the trade about here, and the market just kept going up, and I was like, it's so early in the day, and honestly, Magic 8-Ball is really saying these nodes are flipping around. Look at this blue line here, up, down, up, down. So the market's going sideways, and Magic 8-Ball is tracking this kind of serpentine motion, and right now it's up and it's headed back down. So what that tells me is closing it would have been a little bit premature and I just held on to it and now it is making money. It is at 165. Granted, this is a paper trade because I don't record and do live trades because I just don't have the attention span. If this was a real trade, I would close it right now. I mean, that's almost max profit. I would just close it. Real traders would close it, and let me take this line, probably about like here, where you're at about 50%-ish profit or less. Just know that when you make your profit, take it. If it goes against you very rapidly, it will often do. What I like to do is look at time. How much time is left in the market, and how confident am I that the trade is gonna go back in the direction I want it to go? If you don't have a lot of time left, and you're not confident the market's gonna go in your direction, don't take a max loss, just my personal opinion. Instead, look at where you are on this profit curve and just eat your loss. Remember, there's always other trades and there's always tomorrow. Happy trading and I'll talk to you later.